Hello, welcome to Brain Tender Games. I'm Fat Danny, and the wait is over. We are here finally going to test the Rocat Leader, the brand new wireless mouse by Rocat. New on the market, so let's go with unboxing it. So here's the box. Let's quickly read off some of the features that we've got in this one. So we have the Roka Owl Eye Optical Sensor, unrelating point of precision with 1200 dpi. So that's not bad. Next generation button layout with the featuring the accelerator analog paddle and fin switch on the back. So these are the accelerometer switch and the fin switch. Zero lag. 1000 hertz polling, 20 hour battery life on a full charge. I'm guessing it'll go down if you have the RGB on, so remember that. Comes with a nice fancy charging dock when you're not using it. Has the amazing easy shift feature, which is why I'm a massive Rocat fan. Two level RGB illumination, ergonomic mouse with over 14 buttons, but with easy shift that easily doubles up to 28 buttons in total. 32 bit processor, 512 kilobyte memory, so it has built in storage for all your presets and macros. And it's usable with Rocap Swarm software, so yeah, let's get on unboxing it. Then there's another tab. And open this flap. It's like a little puzzle on its own before you even get to the good. Also, I didn't even need to cut all the other tabs off, so the moment we've all been waiting for. A little bit of a underwhelming packaging. I was expecting a bit more. Show for the mouse itself. So there it is, guys. It's not even secure, really. Just says the mouse. Feels very nice. Well, it's definitely there. It's plastic, but it's a very good plastic, texturized centerpiece. Very nice in the end. I'm coming from the Rokat Kova, which itself is a very good mouse, but it's too small. So, whereas, yeah, this this is definitely a million times better already. It is. The uh, Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness mouse mat in there, where one of the best films of my generation. Yeah, all feels very nice. Let's, let's quickly see what's inside the rest of the box. So we have just uh, I don't know if he likes this paperwork, but I'm guessing it's just a quick installation guide. Let's see if it's cool. We have what every game of ones is stickers. Anything important we need to know? Nah, not really. And this is the bit that is the coolest bit about this. When you finish your nightly session of gaming, you don't have to just leave your mouse there, put it down. There you go, your mouse is charging. Has an indicator light at the bottom to show you. That is a. You got to pair it. Very. I think what would have been nice instead of something like this, well, if they'd have included like a mouse mat and continuous wireless charging, that'd have been, or just powered whilst it's on the mouse mat, that'd have been a good idea. Then you'd never need batteries ever again. So yeah, that's everything that comes in the box, apart from the cable, obviously. Table length like, let's have a look, see if it's long enough to game. With this mouse you can charge it, but if you go over your 20 hours or you forget to charge it, you can just plug it in and it works as a wired mouse. All the all the signals are sent down the cable, it's not just powering it. 
Okay, it's long enough. Nice braided cable. Very nice. Nice braided cable. Nice to see that that's becoming the norm now. More recent stuff. So. What's in? So, let's get into some games. Test it out. And uh, then we'll give it a final review. I'll just quickly show you all buttons. So you've got two buttons here, two buttons here, so they can be programmed to whatever you want them to be. You left click, you right click, your wheel. Then you have a side to side fin, which moves side to side a bit. Don't know what you'd use that for. Um, maybe scrolling your page side to side. Um, it's mainly this feature I wanted, as, as well as the shift, put easy shift. It has like a up down toggle which will come in handy for games like Armour 3 when you're flying your helicopter, throttle up, throttle down, battlefield, any game where you need to accelerate on cars if you're playing in armour. Not saying you play racing games with it, but and then you have your easy shift button. So your easy shift basically. All these buttons have second features which you can macro to anything you want. So say you can macro or you could put that as control and shift. And then when you push easy when you push easy shift you can change that to be A and B on the keyboard so so many possibilities which this will do anything you need it to do so in a game like Armour 3 with a paddle like this you go into software and uh, you can set this to any axis you want so you can set it to be the Z, Y or X axis but in most flight sim games or flying games, you always use generally use the Z axis for throttle, so that's what I've set this to. So in a game like Armour, all you've got to do is like now if you want to take a helicopter off, you just use your little toggle. I generally use a fly stick when I'm flying on this game, so I need a bit more practice with mouse, but it's a bit of a pain when you, this is a better option because instead of every time you get in an helicopter, you don't have to get, pull the flight stick from the side to fly it and then put it back. You can just use your mouse and have a lot more control just with your thumb. It's one of the biggest features I bought this mouse for was the nice little toggle switch. So let's take a look at it in a MMO kind of way. This is what it's mainly marketed towards this mouse was MMOs. So I'm an avid Final Fantasy XIV player. Stormblood's just been released. But best great time to get a new mouse. So some of the good features I use this mouse for is this is my, I have my buttons hotkey for like sprint and targeting so I can do it easier on fly. I haven't done all my setup yet, but I'm just doing a quick show off. You've got the scroll wheel, which was the throttle in another game, but is zooming in out on this one. I'm going to set it up for something different, but that's just what it is at the moment. And uh, this is the easy shift, but you can put easy shift on any button you want. So if you wanted easy shift on another button, there you go. So I have easy shift here, which basically turns every button into something different. So whereas the scroll wheel scrolls in and out, push the easy shift button. It now does volume up and down. I have the one, two, three keys, which do my uh, simple spells, which I'm pushing. Like, you can see I'm pushing at the bottom. If I push easy shift, it does the next ones, which I've set up to do them ones. And then if I push this one, which is another button, does the top three. So you don't need as many buttons on your keyboard or reach as far on your keyboard to get your skills off in an MMO game or. But you can macro for it. You can set up for any game if you want. If you wanted this to be crouch or lay down in a game or throw grenades, reload, you can set any of them up to be whatever you want. But the best thing about this mouse is when it's paired with a Rocat keyboard, there's just the possibilities are limitless. Which I'll, I'll move the camera now and I'll give you a better demonstration of what I mean. Okay, so here it is. I have the Rocat leader mouse, the wireless one, my new mouse, and I have the Rocat Rias MK Glow, which is the one down from the pro so the b best feature about roca is this easy shift plug feature i keep going on about the upside of it is if if i activate it on my mouse it also activates it on the keyboard so when i when i want to use multiple keys i can just use my mouse in it or i can use the easy because this this keyboard has no cap locks button it has a 
shift plus button so when you push shift plus it gives you different it basically turns every key you have on your mouse and keyboard into a second function like the FN key does on laptops or thing you push that and it gives you a second function on certain keys whereas the easy shift turns every key into a second function so I've got macros 1 to 5 but when I push easy shift I've got different macro 1 to 5 if I'm if you get what I mean so it's an amazing bit of kit so if you've got a Rokat keyboard I'd definitely suggest getting a mouse or if you've got the mouse I'd definitely suggest getting the keyboard and having a combo because using the easy shift as a pair it gives you so much freedom in like in an MMO where you're constantly doing stuff, especially in Final Fantasy when you've got to move around a lot because there's lots of AOEs. You don't have to worry about reaching for your zero key, your nine key all over your keyboard here where you do on conventional keyboards or having six thousand macro buttons at side where you're reaching over constantly. So guys, that was the Rokat Leader Mouse. This is my sign of final thoughts on it. So it is a brilliant mouse nice ergonomic tactile keys more buttons than you could possibly need i couldn't recommend it more and for the people who were reviewing another video saying it was too heavy for first person shooters i don't know what they'll be smoking because coming from the cover which is an extremely light mouse another raw cat mouse highly recommend this one as well it's just too small for my hands but the weight difference is questionable there's not much in it so people are saying that this is a heavy mouse then there's something wrong with them and don't believe that other people are telling you that when you're holding your mouse that there's going to be a chance of you slipping onto these four bones of the side because there's no grooves for your fingers to sit in because they're, they're, they're talking shit literally you, your fingers go on it they're not going to fucking slide around it's not a fucking water slide you just push your buttons when you need them you need to reach for it you go for it so I mean that's it, I'm not going to push it by accident, there's no possible way unless you've got fingers that fucking, if one finger is fat as my bastard hand but apart from that definitely recommend it, get yourself a keyboard to go with it if you decide to get a mouse like this and I hope you enjoyed the review Hello guys, so thank you for watching my review on the Rokat Leader Mouse hope you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe right here for free entry to the giveaways that we're doing there'll always be a giveaway active so make sure you subscribe you automatically roll over to the next giveaway and check out all my other videos that are down the side here thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day bye